The Prince of Wales arrived at the Natural History Museum tonight with Prince William and Harry, in a rare joint engagement. The three princes attended the premiere of new Netflix series Our Planet, narrated and hosted by Sir David Attenborough. As the royals arrived they all looked smart in tuxedos, laughing as they posed with Sir David outside the venue. During the evening the princes mingled with TV stars and celebrities including David Beckham with his son Brooklyn and singer Ali Goulding. Actress Emma Mackey, best known for her role in Netflix's Sex Education also attended in a stunning red Grecian style dress. Sir David Attenborough, 92, made the move to Netflix for the eight-part series, which will carry an overtly environmental message exploring the natural world and how to protect it. Charles who is president of WWF UK, and his two sons attended the premiere tonight to underline the royal family's support for action against climate change. The eight-part series, which showcases the planet's most endangered species and fragile habitats, starts on Friday. Before they sat down to watch the world premiere of the new series Prince William, Harry and Charles mingled with celebrity guests, including David Beckham and his son Brooklyn. Prince Charles addressed the crowds at the premiere in a speech and said, I must say I was enormously touched to have been asked here this evening along with both of my sons to launch this really remarkable series. It is also a much-awaited opportunity to pay tribute to Sir David Attenborough for all he has done over so many years to bring wonder and fascination and in creating desperate plight of the natural world to our attention. Above all he has done so much to life the veil of ignorance from our eyes about the integrated and innate beauty of our home. It has given me great pride to see how regular my sons have taken up the causes of my interest. When they were much younger I never thought they were paying any attention to anything I was saying. But when I turned 70 last year, to my absolute astonishment it appeared that they had. My sons are very keen to remind me that we know what the problem is. We no longer need promotion to act, but the priority is now to focus urgently on finding a solution. It's also clear that when we look around our world, we need to heal the environment and our society. There is much, though, of what we can be hopeful of, we can change our behavior, we can embrace a circular economy, we can embrace renewable energy, we can make soil the basis of our agriculture. We can meet sustainable development goal targets on the oceans and the forests. He added, education about what we have, what we destroyed and what can and must be regenerated could not be more timely or more urgently needed. I must say I often wonder why we have waited so long to take the action we so evidently are required to do. We have cleared of 50% of the world's rainforests, we have destroyed 50% of our coral reefs poisoned our rivers and indeed whole swaths of the ocean with the run of industrialized agriculture. Climate change is now a very real existential threat to our whole civilization. The greatest crime of all is that we knew what we were doing, informed consent being the basis of democracy, should we not reject informed destruction as the basis of catastrophe. And it appears we have only belatedly and partially somewhat reluctantly come to the realization that our planet does not refer to the our homo sapiens, but rather to the whole astounding miracle of life on Earth. We share it equally and it's becoming only too obvious for our own survival we desperately need the rest of the natural world, with which we are not only interconnected but which we have been taught to exploit and dominate as something entirely separate from our soul. Sir David who narrates the eight-part series which has taken four years to film, involved 3,500 filming days with 600 crew and aims to reach 1 billion people on the streaming service Netflix. Created in partnership with Silverback Films, and WWF, it showcases the planet's most precious species and fragile habitats, revealing amazing sights on Earth in ways they've never been seen using the latest in 4K camera technology. Sir David took to the stage before the film was shown in front of an audience of around 300 guests including David Beckham and singer Ali Goulding. He said, I've always believed that few people will protect the natural world if they don't first love and understand it. Many secrets in the archive series reveal nature at its most fascinating and delightful. Others prove that good things do indeed come to those who wait but for a very long time as the many talented cameramen and women who recorded all kinds of wonders for us. 
the natural world is not just nice to have it fundamentally matters to each and every one of us. This has been a true labor of love for hundreds of filmmakers, cinematographers, conservationists, editors, musicians, production teams, all of whom have brought their best work to this most important story. A story that could not be more universal or timely. The ability to tell that story in almost every country on earth at the same time via Netflix brings the possibility of an unprecedented global understanding of the one place we all call home. Sir David paid tribute to Prince Charles for having the deep understanding of the natural world and celebrated his passion and curiosity for clearly inspiring the next generation. The younger royals have attended numerous events supporting conservation, and Harry recently helped school children plant trees. Speaking to the BBC Science Focus magazine, Sir David said ahead of the new series, You, me and the rest of the human species are critically dependent on the health of the natural world. If the seas stopped producing oxygen, we would be unable to breathe, and there is no food that we can digest that doesn't originate from the natural world. If we damage the natural world, we damage ourselves. Charles made his first speech on the environment in 1968 and has long warned of the dangers of climate change. He has been president of the WWF UK conservation organization since 2011. There has never been a time where more people have been more out of touch with the natural world than is now, Attenborough told Prince William in an interview in January. Other celebrities who attended the premiere were singer Ali Goulding screenwriter Charlie Brooker and partner Connie Hux, along with David Beckham and son Brooklyn. If we damage the natural world, we damage ourselves. We are one coherent ecosystem, he added. It's not just a question of beauty, of interest, or wonder. The eight-part series, which showcases the planet's most endangered species and fragile habitats, starts on Friday. Netflix has also announced the series will feature local narrators in 10 languages, including actresses Penelope Cruz and Solma Hayek, who will narrate for Spain and Latin America respectively. Earlier in the day the Prince of Wales looked delighted today as he tasted festive mincemeat and opened Waitrose and Partners Food Innovation Studio in Bracknell, Berkshire. While Prince Harry attended the annual Lord Mayor's Big Curry Luncheon Aid of the three national service charities. Father to be Harry proved he was a natural with children at the event, as he greeted a little girl and adorably shook hands with her.